still some seats. There's still seats. All right. Hello, aloha. Oh, you should have learned from yesterday. You got to be louder. They're listening. They know you're here. We'll try this again. Aloha. Much better, much better. Do you guys know what we're doing? I'm glad the people in the front know because you sat up here for a reason. I heard, I heard no in the back. We're reading movie script today, a movie script. If you've seen it online, then you know what you're getting into. If you haven't, I basically get four people on stage and their heads explode in front of you. You're going to hear all kinds of crazy stuff. We're going to read a very famous movie that you know, and we can tell you now it's The Empire Strikes Back. So we're going to, I, we went through it, and I've decided what characters are where. We may ask for your advice. We may ask for your help. So be prepared. In the script, if you've seen these before, there are scenes where it says noises in the back or screeches or whatever. That's your cue. This is audience participation. So if you don't yell and scream when you're told, we'll stop everything and yell at you. So be ready. All right, the other thing I have to say before every time I do this, this is PG-13 to rated R. So if you have little ones in here that think this is going to be cute and funny, you're right and wrong at the same time. Get them out of here because there will be bad words and innuendos all over the place. No complaining later, you've been warned. All right, if you want to see any of this stuff online, go to YouTube, uh, type in, uh, you can type in my name, Jeff, and it's Zanini, Jeff Z. As soon as you hit Z, a picture will come up. You'll see it. All the videos we do are on there and on Twitter. So please follow along because the more you do, the more of these we get to do. All right, let me bring the people up here. First one, you know her and you love her. Her voice is already legendary, Avatar fans. Cora is in the building. Janet Varney. <laughs> Next up, you had on? a lot of questions for him yesterday. He's got so many characters. They all have a lot of characters, but you know him from video games and cartoons. Raiden, Axel, Kingdom Hearts, Quentin Flynn. Woo! Drinking a Coke. Oh, God. Axel next to Cora. I asked for trouble with I her. I think we're going to be a good team. <laughs> next up. You know it. We all loved him yesterday. He screams a lot. Billy from uh, Billy and Mandy. We have Invader Zim here. Rich Horvitz. <laughs> You look very Hawaiian today. He's a tourist. <laughs> Love you more. All right. Last but not least, you really lo everybody in this room knows him. They've all watched his cartoons. Pooh and Tigger, Darkwing Duck, Jim Cummings. Woo! Wow, he brings gifts. How cool was that? I just saw those sitting there. <laughs> those were I my clothes. I saw them sitting there, and I thought, well. Jim. <laughs> All right. Let's just, see here. He took them from small children. Yeah, I just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, was, there was that, you know, that Goodwill bin out there? Yes. It was full? <laughs> Not so full now. It was somebody's home. 
Yes. Yes. All right. Let's see. Have you all seen The Empire Strikes Back? Mm. Rings a bell. All right. Well, those of you that haven't, we had to edit a little bit, so I'll bring you up to speed, okay? How about Stan? Can we get some pencils up here? I got some. We don't have them. Hey, Dave, you guys backstage, can you get some pens or pencils? Yeah, we have to. In the meantime, while we're doing that, we're on a, a planet called Hoth. Okay, there's an ice storm. Luke went out. We can't find him. Ham's going to find him. Famous line, I'll see you in hell. Ice creature hits Luke, takes him, puts him upside down in ice. Luke frees himself with mind control known as the force. (laughs) Cuts his arm off. Ow. Wow, this is good. All right, gets outside. He gets all hazy, can't quite see anything. Talking to Ben, collapses, passes out. Han (laughs) finds him. Next classic line. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Rebels are attacking. Adats are coming. Luke ties their legs together just like shoelaces and kills them all. Imagine it's that easy. All right, Han comes back to save Leia, and they are in the underground caves, and that's where we're picking up on page 31. Come on, I want a Leia. Here we go. That was a joke there. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes it goes over like a... Uh... <laughs> page 31, right under all the black. Yes. And yes, I said it. Oh, for real, page 31. Yes, for real. Our page 31. I did say the black. Never mind the first 30. All right, we want pens, so hang on. I got some right here because no one's coming. Mm. I'm breathing hard. At least not during the show. Easy now. Government secrets. Here's pens. Oh, thank you. All right, in scene one, we are going to have C3PO played by Austin Powers. Oh, behave. We're going to have Princess Leia, Jim, played by Sean Connery. Perfect. <laughs> wow. We're going to have Chewbacca, played by Daggett. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be narrated. I heard Janet does a mean Owen Wilson. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So Owen Wilson will narrate. Let's find out. And Han Solo, our hero, will be played by Zim. Ah. Okay, make your marks, do what you need to do, and whenever you guys are ready, we and you can want me to start. go. you want me to read, like, all the, the stage directions? The narration, yes. Great, this is good practice. So, narrator reads narration. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Yeah, free sarcasm you. if you want it. You don't have to pay I for it. I have blonde hair. It's all extra, it's yeah. Delicious. Remember, you guys are the explosion. Yeah, don't forget, you're if you explosion. don't do your you're job, the, we the, stop everything and yell at you. Stuff. Oh, I think we... Oh, whenever you're ready. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. What's happening? Interior Hoth, Rebel Base, Ice Corridors. Suddenly, there's an explosion. Han turns, grabs the princess, and pulls her to the wall as a tremendous cave-in blocks their path. Hey, transport, this is Solo. Better take off. I can't get to you. I'll get the princess out on the Falcon! Come on! All right. But, 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 come on, baby. I mean, where are you going, man? (laughs) Come back, man. Shagadelic. Oh, man. Man, that is like a really good impression, man. Well, thank you, Owen. Imperial troops have reached the base. As they pull through the blocked passageway, Darth Vader strides behind them. Wait, baby, wait for me. Wait, 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 stoppage. Come on! Chewie lets out a relieved shriek at seeing Han and Leia running toward the ship. (laughs) Spoot! The Wookiee runs out into the falling ice, lets out a howl, then runs up the ship's ramp. (laughs) Spooty! (laughs) Hurry up, Goldenrod! Are you going to be a permanent resident? Don't you mean gold member, baby? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Good one. Good oh. one. Really good one. Han, standing before a control panel, is busy flipping switches as Chewie watches a troublesome gauge. How's this? <laughs> Spooty. Would it have helped if I got out and pushed? It might! 
Captain Solo. Captain Solo, sir. Might I suggest that you dance with me? Han gives the gold robot a devastating look. It can wait. This bucket of bolts is never going to get us past that blockade. How are my danishes on the side of my head, though? <laughs> this baby's got a few surprises left in her, squeedily spooch. Suddenly, Chewie rushes into the cockpit. Come on, come on, switch over. Let's hope we don't have to. Let's hope we don't have a burnout. Oh, man, a laser hits the window near Chewie as he's settling into his chair. <coughs> he quickly pulls back on the controls, and the first stage of engine fire can be heard. <coughs> See? Han flashes, flashes a big grin at Leia. See? Someday, you're going to be wrong, and I hope I'm there to see it. Punch it! Oh man, Vader looks toward the main hangar doors just in time to see the Falcon lift up and disappear outside the cave. Luke waves farewell, then heads towards his own fighter. And scene. Do 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 do. Boom, ba 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 boom, boom, ba 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 boom, boom, la ba ba boom, ba 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 Star Wars, nothing but star. Star Wars, 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 nothing but Star Wars, baby. Let's have a drink. How Always it? looking for Star Wars, Austin. That's you in a nutshell. Yeah, baby. This is me in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's tough gaining control, I'm telling oh, you. Wait, it's like more. herding cats. Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's right. go into the next scene and keep it rolling. How was that? Was that fun out of the gates? Yeah, yeah? Not, not bad. Not bad. All yeah, right, yeah, good. Hey. The next scene. We have, uh, we're going to narrate it. Jim, how about Robert Stack? Oh, yes. We're going to well narrate Robert Stack. Luke is going to be played by Billy. Mm. Mm. All right, Wedge, it has one line, but Quentin, it's Gilbert Gottfried. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so put in your earplugs. <laughs> yes. yes. Han Solo, how about we bring Cora in here? Great. Oh, yeah. Cora, you are Han Solo. Leia, hey, Quentin, how about Nicolas Cage? It's Princess Leia. <laughs> Um, let's see here, is Chewbacca, Janet, uh, I want to hear your Bjork impression. Oh, my Bjork impression. Yes. So Chewbacca okay. is Bjork. <laughs> Bjork. All right. The Imperial officer, Ridge Catherine Hepburn. Okay. It's only one line, but it's going to be really funny. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, R2-D2, Jim, how about Taz? Oh, okay. Sure. And last but not least, C-3PO is Aruka Sensei. Okay. All right. You got a few parts, you guys, so mark them up and let me know when you're ready. So, yeah. Okie doke. You guys did good in that first scene, audience participation. Don't forget. Yeah, really. You got to keep going. Don't let up. Don't fall asleep. We'll throw stuff at you again. Welcome to America's Funniest Most Wanted. R2 seated in his cubbyhole chirps an excited greeting as Luke climbs aboard the spacecraft. R2 like Luke. Say R2, get ready for takeoff. Yeah. From his ship, Luke sees Wedge in his own X-wing preparing for takeoff. You see, I was wondering. You people, you're making me crazy, so I'm just going to say, good luck, Luke. I, 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 I'm going to fly and see you at the rendezvous. Okay. See you at the rendezvous. Luke smiles, wondering what just happened. Then lowers himself into the cockpit of his X-Wing while R2 waits in the cubbyhole. He said... Aw, don't worry, R2. We're going, we're going. No one's going to destroy us all. 
Luke's control panel prints out a question from the concerned R2. What the? What the? What the? There's nothing wrong, R2. I'm just setting a new course. <laughs> <laughs> Going to regroup with the others. What the? What is that? We're going to the Dago system. <laughs> yes, R2. Wouldn't wouldn't go well for you bury me in the cold, cold ground. <laughs> That's all right. I'd like to keep it on manual control for a while, eh? Manual control. Mm, R2 don't know him, but okay. Let it bang. <laughs> Exterior Space Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon speeds away from Hoth, closely followed by one huge star destroyer and four tiny TIE fighters. I saw them. I saw them. I saw what? Star destroyers. Two of them. Coming right at us. What the? Hello? Oh. Hold on there, my what the, what the, Hold on there, Naruto. Hold on there, Naruto. Sir, sir, might I suggest... Hey, shut him up or shut him down. Ooh. Check the defector, deflector shield, not the defector shield. We don't need any defectors. <laughs> That's bad. We need everyone we can get. Mm, I, yeah. Oh, great. Well, we can still outmaneuver them. Suddenly, the Falcon starts into a deep dive straight down, closely followed by four TIE fighters. Oh, you know, we have to take a base of action. <laughs> Eventually, alarms sound all over the huge <laughs> ship. The two other star destroyers get so close that it makes brushing contact with it. Careful! And it sounded like this. The Millennium Falcon races away from the colliding star destroyers. Things have calmed down a bit. Mm, I wear swan dresses. <laughs> that's, that's Chewbacca. <laughs> Spooky. Ah. Hey, prepare to make the jump to light speed. But, Naruto, I... Uh, sir, they're getting closer. You see, like, hands got a gleam in his eye. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Expectedly, they look out the cockpit window <laughs> at stars. Do not go into hyperspace, but just sit there squatting. Han and Chewie look at each other and are thrown into an acute state of concern. Oh, watch what? Uh, guys, I think we're in trouble. If I may say so, sir, I noticed earlier that the ninja took over the hyperdrive motivator. It's been damaged. It's impossible to go to light speed. Hey, deal with it. We're in trouble. Oh, no! And scene. The end. Praise Buddha and all his little saints. Is Catherine Hepburn all right? I mean, yes, Catherine is fine. You know, Spencer used to make on the Laurel Prince. <laughs> you seem to have a stroke on that. <laughs> Sounds like Hannibal Lecter's mom. Yes. yes. <laughs> Fava beans. All right. That was for, all right. Well, huh? Meanwhile, he's coming. Yeah, and heckled from the front row already <laughs> down here. Jeez, that's good he's interaction. You're gonna be all right. Him. Next scene. Let's see. Han Solo. How about we bring Paul McCartney to the party here? <laughs> Sir Paul McCartney. Ooh. We're gonna have Princess Leia, rich as Woody Allen. Okay. <laughs> Princess Leia, Woody Allen. There yes. you go. Perfect. C3PO. We're going to go back to Janet's bag of tricks here and go with Columbo. <laughs> yeah, guys, Columbo. Super fresh reference. Yes. We're going to have you narrate it, too, uh, Janet, because you said you can do Heidi Klum. 
Well, I can try. That's our upbeat narrator. And you've all been waiting. Chewbacca is Winnie the Pooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this will be fun. Just have fun. That's what we all want, just Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Whenever you're ready, Heidi. Okay, Han works furiously, furiously at some control panels while giving various orders to Chewie. The horizontal boosters, eh? Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> um, I'm so, I just, oh, oh nuts. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Wait, do you know the candles? You know? Yeah. Do, do you know the candles? Okay. I read. Oh, thanks. The thing is weird, you know, yeah. the way you were talking over there. It sounded like uh, John must have slipped you a tab of LSD. <laughs> anyway, alluvial dampers, not going to be confused with dumpsters or diapers. Well, that's not it. Oh, bother. <laughs> Bring me the hydrospanners, eh? Oh, I don't know how we're going to get out of this one. Suddenly, a loud thump hits the side of the falcon, causing it to lurch radically. The tools fall into the pit on top of Han. Ouch. Well, it could have been worse. They could have hit me, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Chewie. Yes? Well, that was no laser blast. Something hit us. Don't look at me. Jeez. Hand, get up here. Come on, Chewie. The asteroids. We're taking a magical mystery trip. <laughs> oh, no, Chewie. Set it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> With Sergeant Pepper's lonely heart school band. band. We hope you will enjoy the show. Jeez, what, geez, what are you doing? You're not actually going to, you know, fly into an, an asteroid field of small children. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, but it just might work. <laughs> They'd be insane to follow us, but then again, there are insane people in the world. Just look at Yoko. <laughs> you, you don't have to do this to impress me. Uh, uh, just one more thing. Uh, sure. The uh, possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid. Columbo, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and yes. I'd have to ask Mrs. Columbo this, but I think it's approximately 3,720 to 1. Where did I put my keys? <laughs> uh, never tell. Never tell me the odds, eh? I won't. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh, oh sorry, guys. So a slightly smaller asteroid comes especially close and bounces <laughs> off the falcon with a loud crunch. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> you said you wanted to be around when I made a mistake. Well, marrying Heather, my second wife, was it. Anyway, this could be it, sweetheart. Oh, jeez. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, thinking about that. It was an, having an anxiety attack. I take it back. <laughs> We're going to get pulverized if we, you know, stay out here much, you know, longer. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. Otherwise, it'll cost me 2.1 million. <laughs> yes. But... I'm, uh, I'm sorry. My hearing isn't uh, what it used to be. Did you say pulverized? Yeah, I'm, I'm going in closer to this one, you know, one of the big ones. Jeez, closer? Closer. Closer, huh? Closer. When did you start talking? <laughs> yeah, come a little closer and don't be shy. Come a little closer. It's arid extra dry. I just wrote that one. <laughs> Paul, I'm sorry you're out. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Oh, that's the way go. Anyway, guys, the Millennium Falcon dives toward the surface of one of the moon-sized asteroids. Asteroids explode on the surface of the ship. Rattled by the violent rocking of the starship, 3PO is in hysterics. Uh, this is as close to hysterical as I get. I'm very low key. Oh, this is, uh, what's the word? This is suicide. Uh, looks like there's nowhere to go. I don't see that well. So true. 
<laughs> really doesn't. <laughs> Suddenly Han notices something in, on his main scope and nudges his faithful Wookiee pointing. Hey, there. That looks pretty good. Jeez, what looks pretty good? Well, you know, strawberry fields. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but uh, I'm sorry. Where are we going? The Millennium Falcon dives into the huge crater and disappears. <laughs> you, you know, I, I, I hope you know what you're doing. Uh, me too. And scene. That is like my worst nightmare, being trapped on a spaceship with Woody Allen, I think. <laughs> Might actually be my worst nightmare. Like, everyone knows who you're too old, You're too old for him. Everyone knows That's who Columbo right. is, right? Does everyone know oh, who Columbo yeah. is? Oh, yeah. I just want to make sure. There was a lot of people going, oh, yeah, that was great. And I saw a couple of faces be like, Colum if you saw the Princess Bride, he was the guy narrating. Uh, oh, he was grandpa. Good, yeah. Oh, grandpa. Oh, yeah, he tucked in Fred Savage. I remember, now you remember. All right. Yeah. He had a little TV show called Columbo. So. Yes, All right. he did. Jeez. Just a... Peter he Falk, was, he was a trench He was lucky coat. he got to you know, tuck in Fred Savage. All right, so here's <laughs> an opportunity for an audience member oh, but who yes. wants to come up, but you have to be able to read. Oh, man. All right, now, I'm giving an A for effort, the woman with the pillow. Oh, That yes. was creative. Come on up. You're going to get to read a couple lines. Round of applause. Get up here. Woo! That old bring a pillow to the con trick and wave it in the audience. There's trick. A, mic a standing Paid microphone off. right there. Yeah. There's a microphone I right love there. That the glass, you put your sunglasses on. That's the way to do oh, it. Yeah. It's a man, baby. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hang on right there. Hang on. Yeah, baby. Let me get you a chair. Oh, yes. Well, he's got already got a pillow. What? Uh, the pair would be superfluous. Wow, you're chair. making yourself comfortable. How about you take this chair? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to have you yeah, read a go. couple lines. I don't know yeah, about that. Are. This guy. We picked, we picked the right guy. All right. All right. Next so, scene. Who are you? Hello, I'm Alec Levens. Everyone say hi, Al. Hi, hi Alan. Alan. You can't have nice a pal pillow. without Al, right? Yeah. All right. In this scene, let's see. We're going to have it narrated by Quentin's version of Owen Wilson. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it can't possibly be mine, guys. <laughs> no, it can never measure up to Janet's That's Owen true. Wilson. Uh, Luke Skywalker. How about we bring chaos from Skylanders fans out there? One. Ooh. For you, this we're going to do just chaos. For you. All right, how about get smart fans out there? We're gay. Luke, yeah. Luke right. is chaos. Chaos, there. Now how about R2-D2? Hey, hey, Jim, how about Ed from Lion King? Oh, sure. <laughs> they drew him to look just like me, isn't it? It's kind of freaky, right? Just sound effects. That's what we have them here for. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We're going to have Darth Vader. Janet? Yeah. I think Darth Vader is like a mom from Wisconsin. Yeah. Whatever you yes. want to do for Darth yeah. Vader, you're going to be yeah. Admiral Pyatt. Okay. So you're going to have your scene right here. Those are your lines when it gets to that point. All right. Al is Admiral Pyatt. Thanks for all that excitement, hey, guys. Alan. You know? That, uh, yeah, come on, Alan. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I think you just got a, a date right here. Almost. Right there. Song of songs? See the benefit? Oh, yeah. no, He's starting off. He might not already leave. Already paying Ooh. off. All right, Let's whenever you guys are ready, we'll the start end. the next scene. Who's, who's our narrator? I'm, a, I'm the narrator, man. Oh, okay. Owen Wilson. I'm just trying to figure this thing out. It's cool. Oh, it's no. cool. It's weird doing this thing without Vince Vaughn. I feel very insecure. Okay, the tiny X-wing speech toward the cloud over Dagobah R2. It turns out, it turns its head back and forth with some anxiety, you know? It's like, take some Alazapram or Xanax. Anyway, Luke watches R2's words as they're translated and screened on the computer scope. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. Okay, I can dig that. Eh, yes, it is Dagobah. <laughs> Amazing. No, 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 I am not going to change my mind about this. Getting a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not picking up any cities or technology. Massive life form readings, though. There's something alive down there. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it's perfectly safe for droids. Suddenly, an alarm buzzes in the background. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, I know, all the scopes are dead. I can't see a thing. Just hang on. I'm going to start the landing cycle. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, yeah, the mist-shrouded X-wing fighter is almost invisible in the thick fog. Luke, that's my brother, uh, climbs out. Thank you very much for those of you listening. On to the long nose of the, which I have as well, uh, of the spacecraft as R2 pops out of his cubby like hole in the back. <laughs> no, R2, you stay put. I'll have a look around. <laughs> <laughs> as Luke moves along the nose, right? R2 loses his balance and disappears with a splash into the boggy lake. R2! R2, where are you? Apparently it's R0. Anyway, Luke jumps off the plane into the water and turns to look for R2. Uh, okay. R2, you be more careful. Suddenly through the thick fog of lair, fog of war, a dark shape appears, moving toward the little droid. It's frightening, you know? And the droid disappears from sight. <laughs> R2! The black surface is still death, still as death itself. <laughs> Until a few bubbles begin to appear, and few what? The front-sized robot is spit out of the water. Oh, no! Are you all right? Come on! You're lucky you don't taste very good. Anything broken? Luke helps R2 to his feet and begins wiping the mud and the roots from his round metal body. You, you don't say. <laughs> Uh-huh. Well, if you're saying coming here was a bad idea, I'm beginning to agree with you. Oh, R2, what are we doing here? Huh? It's like something out of a dream, or I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy. <laughs> it's not very possible, you know. I mean, I've seen this happen before. Anyway, it's exterior of Vader's Star Destroyer. Very scary. It's inside of Vader's chamber. Very dark. Admirable, Admiral Pyatt hesitates in the entryway to Vader's private cubicle and says... <coughs> oh, I am sorry. I have got to quit smoking. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, Admiral? Oh, our ships have sighted the Millennium Falcon. Oh, Lord, but it has entered an asteroid field we cannot risk. Oh. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Asteroids do not concern me, Admiral. I want that ship and no excuses. Oh. Oh, yes, Lord. No. And we have see. a cookie. Big round of applause for Al. Good job, buddy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Might as well. What? This part my gum. <laughs> Safety yeah, first. Walk slowly. Safety first. Yes, don't trip. Yes. We'll wait till Al sits. Yes. We, don't, we don't want to start without him. Everyone stare Goodbye, at him. Goodbye, Al. Everyone stare at him. Goodbye, Al. You can call him. Take your Al. pillow with you and bite it. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, Again. man, he's a rock star now. He's going to get all kinds of numbers after the show. Just Starting like with it. that girl right there. Diamond. Oh, yeah, don't turn around. We saw you flirting with Al when he was up oh, here. That's right. I've got a four. Right, Al? Al, have. you saw her, right? Rock star. All right. Let's see. Let's, let's move on here. We've got the next scene with... Uh, Is this the second to the last one? The second? To, yeah, sure. The scene? Um, we've got C-3PO. How about uh, Doc Brown from Back to the Future, Christopher <laughs> Lloyd? Yes. All right, Quentin, you got that. Okay. Uh, Han Solo. <laughs> How about Billy? Billy or Don't Invader Zim? Hero. Let's let the crowd pick. Do you want to hear Billy or Invader Zim? Ready? Bi Zim. Quiet! You got to cheer when you hear the voice. Shut up. I'm going to say Billy, and then I'm going to say Zim, and the applause wins. Billy. <laughs> Invader Zim. Well, it's obviously Alpha, Billy. Alpha 5 it is. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. What does Deborah say? <laughs> aye, 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 aye. So, so well. Luke is in trouble. That was for Janet. You want to be Han Solo as Alpha 5? <laughs> Zim or... or uh, All right, yes. let's do this again. We're Perfect. going to vote for Zim or Alpha 5. All right, ready? Invader Zim. Yay! Alpha 5. Yeah! Zim it is. Yeah. <laughs> As Zim, Catherine Hepburn. All right. <laughs> see? We are going to have, uh, let's see, Luke is Cora. Yes, he is. The let's get saving. The creature, or Yoda, depending on what it says, Jim, is Richard Pryor. <laughs> oh, creature or Yoda? Oh, boy. R2-D2, Quentin, will be played by Sylvester Stallone. Um, let's see. It's going Chewbacca, Janet, have fun. Great. Uh, Princess Leia, Jim, how about Darkwing Duck? Oh, yeah. All right, I guess that's unanimous. And I want it narrated. Let's see, should it be Orthopox, Dr. Chipotle, or Billy's dad? We'll let the uh, audience decide. Billy's dad sounds good. All right, we're not going to even give you a choice. Yes. No, Leia. No, Princess Leia, Leia. is Darkwing Duck. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. Well, Let everybody catch up. Okay. Do you want me to run through it again? Yeah, I think we got it. We got it, guys? I think I'm good. Yeah. Everyone good? I or you need, good. you need hints? Okay. All right. All right, ready when you are. It's the interior of the Millennium Falcon. Cockpit. <laughs> 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 and and Chewie busily shut down the engine and all electronic systems. 3PO and Leia watch... Worriedly. Ay, 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 Zordon. I'm going to shut down everything but the emergency power systems in Angel Grove. Oh, Marty, I, uh, I'm almost afraid to ask, but uh, does that include the DeLorean sh and shutting me down too to the future? <laughs> yes. Whoa, 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 Doc, Doc. Are you telling? Yeah. What? It's my Michael J. Fox. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just came up with it. Love Just it. came Perfect. up with it. Ay, 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 I'm going to be so rich. Oh. No. I need you to talk to the Falcon. Find out what's wrong with the hyper uh, hyperdrive, Billy. Suddenly, the ship lurches. All the loose items in Mogar's pocket are in the cockpit. Go flying. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh uh, unbelievable. You see, uh, sir, uh, it's, it's quite possible that this asteroid is not entirely stable, which could rock the future, the present, and the past all together at once, leaving us here. Ay, 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 ay. Not entirely stable. Well, I'm glad you're here to tell us these things. Chewie, take the professor in the back and plug him into the hyperdrive. Oh. Come yeah. on, Doc. Again, terrible. Well, Marty, you know, it's just sometimes I don't understand human behavior. You know, I understand science, being a physicist and a doctor, but I, 
After all, I'm only trying to do my job in the most effective manner. Suddenly, the ship lurches again, throwing Leia across the cabin into Han's arms. Whoa! <laughs> With some surprise, Han and Leia realize they are in each other's arms. Hmm. Well, this is comfy. I Let I go! I I I I I shh! Let go, Leia please. Oh, sorry, sorry. Leia flushes, uh, flushes. Her, <laughs> Ferdy. Leia flushes. Let's hear it. <laughs> After wiping. Thai food. Thai fighters. <laughs> Thai food. You get it. After wiping and having already flushed, she, she, she averts her eyes. She's not exactly fighting to get free, but mm. she's not exciting to get free, but I meant she's trying to get free, but I like free, of but. course. You Han, know, like, however, Han blows it. Easy. And Han says, I, 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 don't get excited. Captain, being <laughs> held by you isn't quite enough to get me excited. I, 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 sorry, Kimberly. We haven't got time for anything else. What? Han grins quickly, wickedly at Leia. Ay, 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 ay. As he turns and exits through the door, Leia's confused emotions show clearly on her lovely face. Thank you. <laughs> Exterior Dagobah bog clearing dusk. Luke takes a power cable and plugs it into R2's socket. Ready for some power? Okay, let's see now. Put that in there. There you go. All right. Great. No. Now all I have to do is find this tens, and I mean Yoda. Yeah. If he even exists. <laughs> Still, there's there's something familiar about this place. Hmm? I feel like. I don't know. What do you feel like, baby? <laughs> Over the top! I feel like we're being watched. Away with your weapon, girl. I mean you no harm. Mysteriously standing right in front of Luke is a strange greenish creature not more than two feet tall. Yo mama! <laughs> I'll just sit there wondering, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, is this the spirit realm? Uh, never mind. I'm, uh, I'm looking for someone. Looking? Well, you're going to have to be more pacific. Because you found someone you have, I would say, hmm? You want to see something? Look at me right here. Well, help you, I can. Oh, hell yes, you know I can. Talk to me, Lukey. So, I'm looking for a great warrior? Well, I'm looking for anybody. I was stuck on this planet for three years all by my own self. You'll do fine. <laughs> and scene. So, there you go. All right. So awesome. Are you having fun yet? That was funny. Oh. <laughs> All right. Typecast again. How do you follow that up? All right. In the next scene, let's see. Han Solo. We didn't have enough of the angry beaver, so let's bring him back. Amen to that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Narrated by Janet and whatever the sexiest voice you can do is. Oh. You got it. <laughs> You know, after I said to a sexy voice, that young lady said Jerry Seinfeld. 
I'm not quite sure where that goes, but I really don't want to know. Who are these people? I think you need to see a psychiatrist. All right. My wife doesn't think, no. Her Elizabeth Hurley C-3PO. Amazing. How about we bring Cone okay. for C-3PO? For Chewbacca, at the request of somebody, we have Christopher Walken making an appearance hey. as well. <laughs> you know. What? You are Chewbacca is ah, Christopher Walken. Right. Yes. And C-3PO is Cone. Okay. And I know the last big gun you've been waiting for. <laughs> no. He's the anti-Richard. Princess Leia That's will right, be Richard played Brian. by Tigger. Princess Leia, are we on which, which one are we on? Awesome. See, Tigger is a much bigger We're applause. We're on page 43? Leia is Tigger. On 43, though? Pa at the bottom, bottom of page 43, 43 is where oh, we start. Okay, Leia is Tigger, of course. Everybody got where they're at? Know your characters? Yeah, hold, on. hold on, not yet. Is Le I don't think Leia is in this scene, though, so I'm easy. Leia? Yeah. No. Whew. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Richard. wait a minute. Where am I? No, I'm missing her. Alan, can you help me out? Oh. What do you think? <laughs> Hold on a second. I cast the wrong scene. <laughs> How are we doing so far, though? We're but in it's Hawaii. Pretty good. That was a quick one. Yeah. We're in Hawaii. Relax. We ain't half stepping. We're all relaxed, right? That's right. That's all right. Fine. Strike everything I just said. Strike. That never happened. You recording there. <laughs> Rewind. All right. In this scene, it will be Luke will be played by Billy. Okay. Don't be a hero. All right. The creature, or Yoda, will be played by Ray from Princess and the Frog. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's a little too close. All yes. Right. It will be narrated by Axel. <laughs> and Janet, have fun with R2-D2. Great. That's the correct scene now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My apologies. <laughs> Everybody got it? Got memorized? it. Memorized? <laughs> All right. And with the aid of a walking uh, stick, Roxas, the tiny stranger, moves over to one of the cases of supplies. And we hear this from R2-D2. <laughs> Their tiny visitor pick up the container of food Luke was eating from a, a takeout place and takes a bite. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bob, but put that down. Hey, that's my dinner. Well, you will have it back. There you go. Jeez. How you get so big eating food of this kind, are you? Listen, friend, we didn't mean to land in that poodle. And if we could get our ship out, we would. But we can't. So why don't you just blah, blah, my doo -doo? Now, hold on, you. You trying to tell me you can't get your ship out? The creature spots something of interest in Luke's case. I guess that's an innuendo. <laughs> a tiny power lamp, very tiny. Hey, you could have broken it. Don't do that. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're making a mess. Hey, give me that. It's mine, yeah. Or else I will help you not in things of this nature. Yeah, I don't want your help. I want my lamp back. I need it to get out of this slimy mud hole. Mud hole? Slimy? Yeah. Go to bed. You must be from Shreveport. What? What the, my home this is, you? R2 <laughs> grabs a hold of the lamp. Ooh. And the two little figures are immediately engaged in a tug of war over it. Right, Boogie? Uh, 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 uh. No, R2, let him have it. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. R2. Mine. Creature lets go with one hand and pokes R2 with his walking stick. Who? Women like a man with a big back pole. I'm trying to tell you, it ain't nothing but mines. Now, would you move along, little fella? We got to get a lot of work to do. No, 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 no. Let me stay and help y'all. I will. I maybe could help you find your friend. Not Ooh. Mama Odie, though. Ooh, yeah. 
Let me tell you something. My only friend is Irwin. I'm not looking for a friend. I'm looking for a Jedi Jedi master. Ooh, why didn't you tell me, son? I just did. You looking for Yoda. You seeking Yoda, fool. You know him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Take you to him, I will, me. Yeah, yeah. But now we're finna eat. Come on, good food. Come on. Look at here. Follow the bouncing butt. <laughs> come on, come on. We're going to take you down. We're going to take you down. Take you all the way down. To the wind and the rain and the thumb and the night. Taking you all the way. Look at here. You talk funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is all very interesting. I don't know where we are, so I'm just going to let them keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here and watch after the camp, R2. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Good watch. <laughs> scene. Uh, we already cast this scene because this is the one I did last time. Uh, C3PO is Cone. Oh. Janet will be a very sexy narrator. Ding, 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 Daggett ding. is Han Solo. Chewbacca is Christopher Walken. And Princess Leia is Tigger. Very oh, good. You guys Tigger. remember. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't see Chewbacca in this scene. <laughs> oh, he's he? Peeking. Right, he yeah, says yeah. something. He's in the scene. Peter I only Rats. make one mistake a show. Ready, everybody? Interior, Millennium Falcon, main hold area. Ukiya, Ukiya. Oh, where is R2 when I need it? 3PO, 3PO. Sir, I don't know where your ship learned to communicate, but it has the most peculiar dialect. I believe, sir, it says that the power Coupling on the negative axis has been polarized. I'm afraid you'll have to replace it. <laughs> well, of course I'll have to replace it, <laughs> Spooty. He hands a wire coil up to Chewie, who's working near the ceiling. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I just spoot. You know, Keep it together. You know, the thing is, I'd like to have you. Here, and Chewy. Where are we? It's your line, you Han. Oh, uh, 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 I think we'd better replace the negative power coupling. Leia finishes welding the valves and is pulling a lever attached to them. It doesn't budge. Uh, oh, yeah. Han notices her struggle. Oh, that's good. And moves oh, to help her. Oh, feeling it. She rebuffs him. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. God. Hey, your worship. I'm only, hey, your worship. I'm only trying to help. Would you please stop calling me that? <laughs> sure, Leia. Oh, you just you just have to make it so difficult sometimes. <laughs> I really do. You could be a little nicer though. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, admit it. Sometimes you think I'm all right. Well, occasionally. I suppose, maybe, you know, when you aren't being such a scoundrel. <laughs> scoundrel? Scoundrel? <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> with that. Stop that! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with that, Han takes her hand mm. and starts to massage it. Uh, 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 put that paw down. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Spoot. What? You just stop that. My hands are dirty. Stop what? You know, whatever you're doing, I said my hands are dirty. My hands are dirty too. What are you afraid of? 
Afraid? Han looks at her with a piercing look. Stop piercing. He has never looked more handsome, more dashing, yeah. more confident. Oh. He reaches out slowly and takes her hand again Take from it. where it's resting. Rest it. On a console. Mm. He draws it toward him. Draw me. That doesn't even make sense. I know. That's why I like it. <laughs> e, you're trembling. I am not trembling. Then, with an irresistible combination of physical strength oh. and emotional power, yeah. the space pirate begins to draw Leia toward him. And call me Captain. Very, very slowly. And slow is good. You like me because I'm a scoundrel. There aren't enough scoundrels in your <laughs> life. <laughs> Leia is now very close to Han. So, so am I. And as she speaks, her voice becomes an excited whisper. A whisper for me. A tone completely in opposition to her words. Words. I, actions, I'm sorry, go ahead. actions speak louder <laughs> than words. I happen to like nice men. I'm a nice man. No, you're not. You're just... Look at you. you oh, no. I'm a beaver. See? He kisses her now mm. with slow, hot lips. Yeah. Easy. He takes his time. <laughs> As though he had forever, <laughs> bending her body backward. <laughs> she has never been kissed like this before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think kidding. that goes without saying. <laughs> what you said. And it almost makes her faint. Stop that. <laughs> when Will he you stops. Please? Not that, that's my special spot. <laughs> <laughs> When he okay, stops, go ahead, keep going. You win. If he stops, you silver tongued beaver. You never been licked by a beaver before, have you? Not gonna answer that one. I turned the table, so to speak. I get it. Don't make me hurt you. I'll file the sexual harassment lawsuit for the entire audience. <laughs> when he like stops, sound. she regains her breath and tries to work up some indignation, mm. but finds it hard to talk. Hard. Suddenly, 3PO appears in the doorway. Sir, sir, I've isolated the reverse power flux coupling. That sounds like something Doc Brown would say. You, uh, e, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're perfectly welcome, sir. And scene. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Woo! That was... Needed a, a machete. I left my machete at home. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't think you'd see a love scene between a beaver and Tigger today, did you? <laughs> very different. All right. Wow, I feel like I need a drink after that one. Yeah. <laughs> Jim needs Anyone a have shower. a smoke? I know, I don't advocate smoking, but... Only I know 700 that lady more has pages one. to go, so don't worry. She loves Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld, that's all I know. It's very strange. Where's Al? Al. He is stoned out of his mind. How you doing, Al? All right. Just want to say hi, that's all. He's over there with He's Spicoli, over there. Like, hey, man. Dude, me? Oh, no way. All right. Nita in this scene has one line, but we're going to hear the third Owen Wilson impersonation by Jim. <laughs> so then you can decide which Owen oh, Wilson Nita? you like. Which? Come oh, on, God. man. Nita. Oh, it's not okay. fair. Darth Vader, Janet, whoever you want. I'm bringing. I'm. <laughs> I love. I love Her that you guys think I, I love the, Well, listen. You know I'm game to try. They want you to do Robert De Niro doing Arnold Schwarzenegger while talking to Christopher Walken, okay? 
In other words, my typical Saturday. Yeah, make, make it happen. All right. Uh, Admiral Pyatt, how about we bring in uh, Raiden? Okay. The Emperor. Jim. Mike Tyson. Oh. All right, oh, I got yeah, a few ideas okay. of my own. Shut up, hecklers. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and the thing is, there's smart people in the audience, and that's what we love about you. And we're going to have narrated by Rich doing whatever he wants to do. When Richard I, Simmons I, doing Obama. That's what I'm I got doing, out of the front row. Uh, so this Nita that's is been an done Owen before. Wilson. I'm going to be flying without a net on this Owen Wilson. That's okay, though. There we go. Ready? <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm flying without a net. I'm, what am I doing? De Niro? This is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. Interior Vader Star Destroyer Bridge. Darth Vader stands, staring at the window above the control deck. Before him is the hologram image of Captain Nita, commander of the Star Destroyer, which is the one tail of the Millennium Falcon. That, Lord Vader, was the last time they appeared in any of our scopes. I mean... You know, considering the amount of damage we sustained, they must have been destroyed. I don't know. First time out of the gate, thank you. <laughs> and then Vader said, I'm getting there. <laughs> no, Captain, they're alive. I want every ship available to sweep the asteroid field until they're found. Woo! You're talking to me. Lord Vader, I am lightning. The rain transformed. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but what is it? Well, I don't know. I... The Emperor commands that you make contact with him. Let me tell you something. You move the ship out of the asteroid field so that we can send a clear tra transmission, okay? I can do that. Yes, my lord. Somebody got to narrate this thing. There should be a narrator. I'll make it up if you want. But what the emperor commands, you make contact the with dark, him. The dark lord who comes oh. after the pyat lie. Oh, I'm on the wrong page. Yes, hey, the dark lord, Darth Vader. <laughs> is alone in his chamber, a 12-foot hologram of the Galactic Emperor materializes before Vader. What's up? His voice is even deeper and more frightening than Vader's. <sighs> what is thy bidding, my master? Thank you for asking. They have a great disturbification in the fourth. Yeah, I felt it. We have a new enema. Nuke Skywalker. Yes, my master. He could destroy us and whatnot. Hey, get out of here. He's just a boy. Obi-Wan can no longer help him. Okay, but track me on this one. The Force is strong with him and whatnot. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. Let me see if I follow. If he could be turned, he would become a powerful ally. Okay, maybe. He could be a great asset, but could it be dead? <laughs> you know what? You know what? He's going to join us or die, my master. Oh, well, that was easy. Join us or die. And see. <laughs> wow. Wow. I loved it. Oh. It's weird. It's like we're watching a movie all, right. all over again. You can again. never tell anyone about today, all yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah all right. that stuff <gasps> on YouTube. Just blot you out of the pack. Okay. All right, last scene. Seriously, Elmo? <laughs> all right, let's see. We have, we had Alpha 5, but you've already done it. What is our last scene, by the way? All right. What he wants to do Marlon Brando as Ben's voice. Okay. 
You know, I had Jim doing Marlon Brando as Luke. Do you want him to have dueling Marlon Brandos? Yeah. All right, so Ben's voice is Rich as Marlon Brando. Ben's voice, okay. Luke's voice is Jim as Marlon Brando. <laughs> okay. 50, oh, okay. The creature, or Yoda. Well, let's change it up, and how about go to the other end of the spectrum, Timon. Go to the creature? No. Timon's, yeah, creature or Yoda. It says both. Correct. This guy's out of his mind. Oh. All right, so that means we're not going to get to Gollum or Richard Brandos. Pryor again or Zim. We're going to do, uh, Janet, how about we close it out with Cora? With what? who? Cora, narrating. Me? Unless you want to bring Schwarzenegger oh, no. to the party oh, or something gonna like say, that. Wait a minute. You want me to? How about this? You I'm, narrate I love, it. This is the best, like, on demand. Oh, my God, I don't do impressions. How about as ever. you narrate, every time you narrate, just do somebody different? Yeah. What were some of the ones you, you said? Arnold Schwarzenegger? Carol Channing. Carol Channing. Cosby. Cosby, Bugs Kermit. Bunny, President Obama. Can you do Big Gay Al from South Park? Huh? Who? Hey, are we in the splash zone? You're getting Menachem excited Bacon. up here. Menachem Begin. Do Menachem Begin. Can't you hear Menachem? Are you going to sing I a dreidel song? Four. We'll see how it goes. Begin, oh no. I know, Branson. So, so specific and Aaron Paul, do Aaron Paul. Yeah. Herb Albert. Herb Albert. Yes. Marcel Marceau. Marcel there Marceau. we go. We got there. Yeah. All right. Shields and Yarnell. Captain and Tennille. <laughs> Muskrat Love. No. You Whenever you guys are ready. Someone <laughs> called out Carol Channing, and you were worried that people didn't know who Columbo was. I know. <laughs> Bob Dylan, seriously? Stuck inside a movie. In you. Ooh, ooh, In you. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody give me some toilet paper. Yeah. Oh, I have an idea. Whenever we're ready. Ready. Narrator. Oh, I'm the narrator. I'm the narrator. Exterior. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Exterior Dagobah, Creature's House, Night. Yeah, look, uh, I just don't understand why we can't see Yoda now. Hakuna Machara <laughs> means no worries. Let's just have patience. For the Jedi, it is time to eat as well. You know, like Pumba. Hong, hong, hong. Eat, eat, eat. Hot, hot, hot. Good food? Mm. Good food? Good, good? Mm. Yeah. How far away is Yoda? Is it going to take us long to get there what? Oh, not far. Yoda, not far. Patience. Soon you will be with him. Tasting food from the pot. Root leaf. I cook. <laughs> Why wish you become Jedi, hmm? Well, mostly it's because of my father, I guess. Oh, your father. Sure. Powerful Jedi was he. Powerful Jedi. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How could you know my father? You don't even know who I am. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even know what I'm doing here. We're wasting our friggin' time. What? Oh, we're already there. What do you think? Uh, the creature turns away from Luke and speaks to a third party. I guess that's Carol Channing, guys. It's Carol Channing in the house. I love her. Corn? I don't remember eating corn. <laughs> I cannot teach you. This boy has no patience. He will learn patience. <laughs> oh, much anger in him, like his father. Why was I any different when you taught me? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> he is not ready. Yoda, I'm ready over here. I, whoa, 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 Ben, I could be a Jedi. Ben, tell him I'm ready. Tell him. C could have been a Jedi like your father. Uh, yo, yo. I got this. Trying to see Ben. That's my sting. Yeah. <laughs> Luke tries to get up, but hits his head on the ceiling. <laughs> Ow. Bring on the night. I love it. Uh, ready, are you? Okay. What know of you of ready? 
For 800 years have I trained Jedi. My own counsel will I keep on who is to be trained. A Jedi must have the deepest commitment, the most serious mind like me. Oh, this one a long time have I watched. Kooka looka looka heep a dip a dee. Never in my mind oh, where was he? Hmm, what was going on? Doing adventure. Come on! Excitement. Ah, a Jedi craves not these things. Turning wave. You are reckless. Forget it. It's not going to happen. It's just on me and you and Mappin. What? <laughs> what? What did you say? So was I, if you'll remember. He is... Is that me? He is too old, yes. Too old to begin his training. But I've learned so much. Uh, after a long moment... <laughs> uh, the uh, little Jedi turns to where he alone sees Ben. First time. Hey. Thank you, Kermit. Ew. Now, will he finish what he begins? I will not fail you. Mm. I am not afraid. All right. You aren't now, but you will be. Trust me. You will be. And scene. Ooh. Guys, did you have fun? Yeah. You had a good time? Big round of applause for these four. Thank you very much. They will be downstairs signing autographs in 30 minutes. Downstairs signing autographs. Guys, come see us. Thank you, guys.